In this Sean and Liberty video, I bring you what in my opinion is by far the quickest way to actually level up in this game. As a new player experiencing this for the first time with millions of other players since its release a few days back, I've hit the bottlenecks of XP. I've experienced the game right now in a state of needing XP to progress and while guys is actually quite straightforward. This won't be some pointless XP grind farming video because you really don't need such in this game. This will be a few tips which will allow you to maximise XP at the right times which will see you flying towards that level 50. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'm giving away 1000 plus Lucent. Now the winner of my previous Lucent giveaway you can see on screen now, if this is you hit me up on my Discord link down below. Now do you guys want to win 1000 plus Lucent? Well it's as simple as this, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. The more I see you active on my videos the more of a chance you have of winning. I'll pick one winner from the comment section and announce them in a few days. So good luck everybody. Okay, so leveling up in Throne and Liberty is pretty important considering there are so many great features in this game locked behind certain levels. For instance, all your skills and so forth. Also the Auction House, which is an amazing feature, one I absolutely loved and was addicted to in New World. Now this doesn't open up in Throne and Liberty until you hit a level 40. You then have all the dungeons tied to levels and while just the usual progression for that better gear and those weapons which come as you level up. Now reaching a level 50 in this game is just a start too, in regards to the end game journey you'll most likely go on. So you'd think uh, likely in a game like this that there would be some sneaky ways of earning mass amounts of XP and leveling up, some sneaky farms here and there. Well guys you do not need them because it is in plain sight for you. In fact those sneaky ways in Throne and Liberty is merely just playing the game and getting used to what's on offer, learning to navigate the certain menus which are kind of clunky and the UI is a bit broke but when you know where to go and what to look for there's such simple ways to earn XP. By the end of this video guys I guarantee you you'll be flying towards a level 50, it's as simple as that. Okay so firstly to earn the most amounts of XP to level up to a level 50 you want to stick to doing the main game quest line. This is portrayed under that content notifications section uh, under and next to this purple icon right here. These quests are tied to the current chapter you are in and upon you completing them and that said chapter you then progress on to the next chapter, simple as that. Now these quests in comparison reward you massive chunks of XP and will level you up by far the quickest. Now what will happen as you level up guys you will hit certain XP bottlenecks which mean you will require XP to then progress on to that next chapter. This happened to me at I believe a level 22 and a 27 and what happens is the main game quest will halt until you reach that certain next level. This might not happen to everybody, it depends on what you do, but will happen to most. Again, for me this happened at a level 22 and a 27. And this happened while I completed a certain chapter I was in, but I needed more XP to level up to go on to that next chapter, to continue this game's main quest line and earn those crazy XP gains. And while well, here guys at these points, if you don't know about the exploration codex, this can become a problem because you are now limited in regards to ways to earn great amounts of XP. I struggled at a level 22 because I wasn't fully aware of the exploration codex which is this game's second best way to earn massive amounts of XP which is something I recommend to everybody trying to level up fast because these are things you can do as you play the main game quests and when it comes to unlocking different areas because tied to most areas in this game are a load of side quests which many players don't know about. These side quests are easily missed but at the same time are simple enough to find and indeed complete if you know where to look. So if you find yourself stuck or in need of XP or you just want faster ways of leveling up, you can do this. So there are two ways in which you can do this guys. The first one is to go into your menu, go to the codex section, tab across to exploration. Now under this section you will see opportunities for you in regards to completing side quests available in the areas you have opened up. These are here from the starting area to the end area. And as far as I'm aware they are not time gated, I mean there may be a few tied into the game's main quest line progression but all of what I've looked at you can always go back and do these and earn great amounts of XP. 
So within the exploration tab, you will see individual areas where these areas, you will see individual side quests you can complete. You can highlight one and favorite it. It will then appear in your content notifications tab available for you to highlight on a map and then complete. Now, in my opinion, the best way to do this and trigger these side quests uh, so you can easily track them isn't by going into your menu and the codex. It's by using the content notifications menu. So to do this, guys, it's pretty simple. Press the required button on your main playthrough screen to bring up the content notifications menu. Then, guys, press the content notifications menu button, which is this one right here. For me on Xbox, by having room at my buttons, is X. Now, you will have a window pop up. This is that manage content window. Here guys, you have a few tabs where you can see what you can do in regards to quests and so forth. Also, if you have main quests somewhat disappear as you're playing the game, I had this. Uh, it's within this window, you can put them back within that content notification tab so you can see what you actually have to do next. I was confused when this happened to me. Luckily, I found this menu, this window, so I could basically reapply them after they somehow vanished, which I didn't do. So yeah. But either or, this window here will allow you to basically ping quests so that they then appear on your map for you to easily track and go to and complete. Now, if you here, guys, go to that exploration codex section, which is indicated by this blue star second tab in, you will see different areas you have unlocked listed here, where you can then showcase side quests within these said areas. If you press the button to favor all these side quests within that said area, they will appear like I said within that content notifications section and then will appear on your map for you to find and complete easily. Now the way I did this was in regards to the XP gains, I'd work backwards from the latest areas I'd unlocked because I do believe XP gains will be better the harder area you do the side quests in. So like I said, I work backwards to the first area if I need that XP. So yes guys, take advantage of what the game actually wants you to do and don't bother with any farms early on for XP because it's just not really worth it when the main game's progression quests give you absolutely massive chunks of XP. They're relatively easy to do and then guys, you have the exploration codex which again earns you crazy XP. They're easy side quests to do. You unlock tons as you play the game. So yeah, you won't really run out of ways to earn XP in my opinion. Opinion. So do everything that's on offer here. Yeah, for sure, guys, I await the comments just saying, yep, so the quickest way to level up is just playing the game. Well, in Throne of Liberty, this is actually the case. Indeed, just play the game. But at the same time, you want to know ways of taking advantage of that content notification and the exploration codex when your main quests are halted by progression and you need more XP to storm through those levels as fast as possible. So the way I do it is I just stick to the main story quest line and tons and tons of that XP when you're halted by progression and you're stuck in a current chapter and you need more XP to level up to the next level to unlock that chapter. Just do these exploration codex side quests. They're so easy to do. They're relatively fast. I mean, I actually used this when I was at a level 27. Um, and what I did was about five minutes of these side quests, these exploration codex side quests in a area that had not long opened up. And within about five or 10 minutes, guys, I went from a level 27 to almost a 30. That's how fast you get XP from doing these. So yeah, pretty cool, guys. So take advantage of this if it's what you need. But there we have it, guys. In my opinion, the quickest way to level up in Throne and Liberty is by just playing the game and taking advantage of the menus hidden within this game's crazy UI and buggy menus. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.